May we bury the guns like we buried the children. Say amen. amen. Caskets the size of a child's body lay in rows. Grown men weep, and mothers wear black. Mothers always wear black on these occasions. But we will never forget the lives you lost. But the only difference between us is the number of cameras that follow the story. In Chicago, they'll call it a homicide. In Iraq, they called it collateral damage, but they called the white case a tragedy. I hope you know not everyone gets that privilege because so much of this world is starving in slums. Stories untold, no cameras with lips. There is blood painting Baltimore streets and all the lines have been crossed in Yemen. Afghanistan's mothers spent 20 years weeping beneath drones and the children die in piles. Children die in piles. And so we pray that the image of our dead will teach you about the nature of our streets. We know all your tragedies. What will you learn about ours? May we bury the guns like we bury the children, say amen. Soccer moms in the settlements, say amen. Wives of Washington politicians, say amen. Mothers of the powerful, for God's sake, just say amen. Are your nightmares not bloody yet? There are Congolese women and Sudanese women with machete gashes and no one can sleep because everyone is crying. We are standing outside your windows holding our kids, praying that you'll just point your cameras at us. You lock your doors at night, but we are all afraid of this world. We are all afraid of the men with the guns and the fire. We are afraid like all mothers, like Gaza's mothers, and Syria's mothers, and El Salvador's mothers, and Venezuela's mothers, and Sudan's mothers, and Somalia's mothers, and Congo's mothers, and Afghanistan, and Iraq, and you name it. We are afraid like mothers. And so here we are in our refugee camps, in our occupied settlements, in our slums, teaching our children about your children, teaching our children to pray for your children. We are teaching them to say, may we bury the guns like we bury the children. Say amen.